Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a drop down list that's list of options is determined by previous choice that you've made. This is one of two videos that I'm going to do using this particular file. In this video I'm going to do the drop downs and in the next video I'm actually going to show you how to create formulas that will add up the selling price and the total cost columns based on the choices that you made above. So I've already made a drop down for the columns just using the first four columns there. What I hope to do is in this box make a drop down that will actually give me the choices from these columns. So to save a bit of time I've actually created the four drop down list that I need so I've taken the unique values out of each of those columns. Now I'm going to create what's called a named area using each of these. So a really quick way to do that using the formula ribbon is if I select from the name of the column and I select all the items within it I can go to create from selection I can leave it on top column when I click away press OK you'll see I now have a named area called genus. That is all the items excluding the word genus. So I'm going to do the same for species. I'll do the same for sex. And then finally I'll do the same for location. So now that I've made those four drop downs, or those four named areas, sorry, I'm going to go to this cell and I'll make that into a drop down. So I'm going to go to data, I'm going to go to data validation and as we did before to make the column one I'm going to pick the option of a list. Now previously I just went and highlighted the cells that that represents but what we're going to do in here is we're going to type in a formula. So we're going to do equals in direct open bracket then we're going to reference the cell that we're going to make the initial choice with and then close bracket. Now at this point I'm not going to bother with an input message or an error alert I'm just going to press OK. I'm getting this error because there isn't anything for it to use in this this indirect formula at the moment because the cell is empty so I'm just going to say yes that's OK. Now at the moment I get no drop down if I click back up to the box for column and I select genus, when I go back to the item drop down, you'll now see I get the items from the genus column. Likewise, if I went back and I changed it to species, if I go to the drop down again, you'll see I now get the entries in the species column. So it doesn't matter which of the four choices that I choose because I've made a named area for all four of them. I actually get a list based on that particular column. Okay guys, so that is how to make a drop down list that is affected by a previous option that you've chosen. If you like the video, can you give me a thumbs up? And if you want to see more videos from me, remember to subscribe. Remember to press the bell and that way you'll get notified when I put a new video up and I plan to put two to three videos up every week where possible. Thank you for watching, see you on the next video.